Hi everyone, my name is Kate Drake and I'll be your host for S5 View today. We're going to be talking about social search optimization. I wanted to do a quick sound and video check and make sure you can all see and hear okay. Uh, so if you can see me and hear me all right, if you could raise your hand. Awesome. Okay. Well, so today this is just going to be a fairly quick little webinar with just a few little tips on how you can improve the uh, search optimization of your social channels. We talked just a few minutes ago at the last webinar about um, uh, improving this search engine optimization of your website, which is obviously very important, but it's also really important for your social channels because they tend to be some of the first results that come up in a Google or a Yahoo or Bing search. So let's jump in and we'll talk a little bit about that. So the big question we get a lot of times about, especially with your social channels versus your website, is why do I need to optimize these? And really it all comes down to these little guys. These are search engine spiders. And um, they're gonna be used by any of those search engines that you're using to, to run a web search on. And they crawl around the web and look for um, data. And your social channels are part of that. Obviously, they're gonna look for the um, metadata and the keywords on your website, but they're going to be looking for them on your social channels too. And like I was saying, in fact, these social results are likely to be in the first page of Google results. So um, especially things like uh, Facebook and Twitter, if you have one of those for your company and people Google you, those, you, you want those to be very high up in, in the rankings. And same if they Google a more generic search term too, right? You want those uh, to be uh, optimized and, and really up there high in the rankings. The other thing is that they provide an additional backlink to your website and help with that search engine optimization too. So let's just dive in here really quick and talk a little bit about what you need to do on your Facebook page. So um, again, this is pretty easy. Basically, you're just going to come to your about section and it will give you, uh, let you fill it out and it'll have this whole profile here. Now, Facebook gives you a lot of stuff to fill out and it can be a little intimidating at first. Um, but really it's important to fill out as much as you can because it makes your page more searchable. There are some priority fields here, which are the address, um, the short description, a long description, an email address where folks can contact you, and your website address. Now again, that website address is gonna help with backlinks to your site. You wanna make sure though that you have an email address on there that's um, something that people can use to contact your company. If you have a larger company, make sure it's maybe a more generic uh, address that people can get in touch with. Uh, you know, a lot of people do like an info dot, whatever their business name is, or customer support or something along those lines, whatever it may be. But you wanna make sure that people can get in touch with you. Now, there are other things here, obviously, that you can fill out. Um, we talked about, you know, you want a short description and a long description. Great places to put in keywords about what your business does. But you know what? You can also do things like enter your mission statement. You can enter the names of the founders of your company. Talk about any awards that you have won. That's a really big one because if people in your industry are searching for a specific award and you've won it and it's pretty prestigious, that's really cool and, and that will come up in your search results. Uh, you can include the products that you sell. Again, very important to have those keywords in there. Whatever product it may be that you're offering, put those in there at using keywords and key phrases so that, they, that they'll be searchable. Now, I know this is a little intimidating. You don't have to do it all in one sitting. Go ahead and you know sit down, do a few boxes, fill out some more later if you want, or you can do it all in one fell swoop if you want. But the more information that you put on here, the better your search engine optimization, or social search optimization is gonna be, and the higher that Facebook page is gonna show up in those rankings. Oh, sorry, there's where you'll find it, is this about section. So Twitter is a totally different ballgame, right? Um, Twitter is much more stripped down. Basically, you only get three lines of what you want to say. <laughs> so you want to try and make the most of them. You really want to make sure that you're including some keywords and search terms there. So I pulled up ours here. It's, it's Social 5, and um, you can see we, it says, Social Media Management Made Simple for Businesses of All Sizes. Get so Social, Stay Social, Get Noticed. Very basic. We've also got our website on there. That's one thing that you really want to make sure you put in on your Twitter page. And um, 
that's about it. <laughs> it's not very long. So the thing that I would say is, as you're going through and optimizing your Twitter page, is really try and make the most out of those three lines. Try and include as many keywords and phrases as you can about the products and things like that about your company. And just get in as, as much information as you can in that short little space. I know it's tough. And it's kind of funny to how, um, how opposite the two of them are. You know, that Facebook has this huge long profile you can fill out and Twitter is so short, but very important for both of them. Well, that's all I have for today. Again, this is just kind of a short little helpful tips and tricks kind of thing. Um, but these will really improve the um, SEO, or not the SEO, but the search optimization on your uh, social channels. And that's really important. Um, you know, your Facebook page is almost becoming like your web page now. Right, wherein if a business doesn't have a Facebook page, it almost doesn't seem like a legitimate business. Um, so you really want people to be able to find that so that they can learn more information about you. Hopefully, if you've got your website listed, your address listed, your hours of operation, things like that, folks can use your, your Facebook page almost as a website and um, be able to get in contact with your business that way. So does anybody have any questions before we sign off? All right. Well, I know that that's a little intimidating and it can seem like a big form to fill out on Facebook, but I really highly encourage you to do it and to take the time to do it. And then the other thing you can do is you can update it often and, um, you know, whenever something changes at your company or anything, and that'll really help with your search optimization as well. All right, everybody. Well, thanks for tuning in today. We'll see you again in a couple weeks. And uh, if you have any questions in the meantime, feel free to get in touch with us. You can always reach us at content at social5.com.